to laugh and he loves to play. Moonsy's on adventure day. Moonsy is your best friend, everybody's best friend. We love you, Moonsy. <laughs> Moon friend. <laughs> Everyone's asleep, but not us. Yeah, we're all walking because we can. Oh, who turned a light on? Oh, bah. <laughs> Ah! Who's there? Where am I? Ah! Hey! Where are you going? Wait! Ah! Hmm. Good morning, world. Morning, Moonzy. Hi, Skip. Morning, Moosey. Hi, Dotty. Moonzy! 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 There it oh, crashed. Out came a huge monster. A monster? Oh. Where did you see it? <laughs> There's no one here? Why'd you scream? Well, why'd you run away? Footprints! <laughs> they look like mine. I want to find this monster. Time for an adventure! Hooray! Guys, I think it's in here. Huh? Follow me. Ow! I'm sorry. sorry. Quiet down. Where is that monster? Guys, come look. <gasps> it's so beautiful here. <gasps> Moonsy, you're glowing. Oh, I've never done this before. Oh. <laughs> I want to glow like this all the time. <laughs> Hello? Shh. Did you hear that? <gasps> <gasps> Look at me. I'm glowing too. Monsters, oh, oh, huh? I'm not a monster. I'm, um... You're a shell? No. I just got stuck in this when I landed. Will you help me? Of course we will. Guys, grab onto the shell. One, two, three, and... Oh. 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 This isn't working. I've got a plan. Poopsie, come on. I'm not sure about this. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> Huh? Ta-da! Oh. Another one. You look like me. Like a Moonsy, but she's a girl. Uh huh. Where'd you come from? The moon, of course. <laughs> Let's go play now. Play? Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait for us! 
Yes! Looks like our gang found a new friend from the moon. <laughs> The Boogeyman. Moonsy, watch this! Huh? Oh, oh. Uh. What do you kids think you're doing now? Those stones fell right on my head while I was sleeping! It was an accident, Lizzie. I'm so sorry. We were playing. You were playing? Watch out! Put an end to your games next time. Who's the boogeyman? Can he really come and make us stop playing? Come on, Moonsy. I've never even heard of the boogeyman. I don't know what she's talking about. Let's go. It's time for our daily exercise class. Hold on. Does anyone know where Moonia went? Where is she? Oh, oh, oh no! Granny! General! Huh? We're on a work trip. We'll be back late. Skip! Lizzie's right! The boogeyman is real! I think he came here and took Monia. Oh, no! Let's go back and tell Lizzie. Where are they going? We should probably find out. We need to see you! It's important! What is it? I'm sorry, Lizzie, but I have a big problem. I think the boogeyman took my favorite stuffed animal. You have to tell us where he lives so we can go and get it back. I have absolutely no idea where the boogeyman lives, but I know kids should behave. Please come back, Lizzie. <laughs> They're scared of the boogeyman. Ooh, today just got more fun. Let's play this up. All right. He was huge, and he had big claws and teeth. Scary! Uh-huh. And blue. And he was carrying a toy. Huh? Who had a toy? You're joking. You don't know? Only the boogeyman steals kids' toys. Then it was him that took my Munya. Tell me, how do we find him? I could make a deal with him. I'll tell him I'll always be good if he gives me Munya back. He doesn't care about that. He just wants candy. Uh-huh. He likes candy. Hold on, guys. Can you at least tell me where he lives? All right. So here's what you have to do. If you want the boogeyman to give your toy back to you, then you have to give him something he wants. Just leave a giant bowl of candy under the willow tree and cover it up with leaves. In the morning, the candy will be gone, but your toy will be left in its place. Moonsy, do you want to have a sleepover? It's getting dark. I don't want to be alone if the boogeyman comes. Well, I wouldn't want to meet him face to face. Yeah, let's do that. It's a good idea. Then we won't be afraid. I wonder if that leaf was too big. Maybe he can't see the candy. I'm kind of afraid. If he's so big, maybe he'll still be hungry and want to eat us. Ah! <gasps> it's him! <laughs> Moonsy and Skip, what are you two doing up? Goodness, we were too afraid of the boogeyman to sleep. And what's a boogeyman? He's like a monster who takes kids' toys away. He came and took my moon, yeah. Well, I promise you there's no such thing as a boogeyman. I'm the one who took her. I wanted to fix her ear before it fell clean off. I'm sorry to have scared you. Hold on, then. We just left a big bowl of candy for the boogeyman. Huh, that's a new one. Whoopsie and Poopsie told us to do it. They did, huh? Well, it's time to give them a taste of their own candy, don't you think? Thanks for breakfast, Granny Annie. I'm so glad we don't have to worry about the boogeyman. Yeah, that's great for you two. Too bad it's not the same for Whoopsie and Boopsie. If you keep tricking these children, I'll come take all your treats. Guess who? Well. I guess this means the boogeyman is real. And with that, Moonsy and Skip learned that they didn't have to be afraid of the boogeyman anymore. Whoopsie and Poopsie, however, well... Hello, I'm Moonsy, and I'm your best friend. The Secret Helper. One of the beetles was telling me a story this morning. Yesterday, he was lost in the woods and had no idea how to get home. He was scared. Suddenly, 
He noticed that someone left a path for him made out of arrows. The weird thing is, he never found out who it was. You know, something like that happened to me. I was swinging and the rope broke. I wasn't sure what to do, so I went to get Weeby. By the time we got back, someone had fixed the swing. We asked around, but nobody knew who had fixed it. It's kind of a mystery. How exciting! A secret helper. Yeah, maybe it's an elf. <laughs> right, because they exist. <laughs> I think we should find out who the secret helper is. You're right. That's a great idea. Hey, guess what, you guys? The secret helper is back. He just fixed Poopsie's scooter. Poopsie, you're in the way. Yeah, we can't see anything. <gasps> the agony! Someone help me! I've never felt so much pain! I might not ever walk again! Come on out. It didn't work. He didn't show up. Well, we found something out. He knew that you were acting. Weeby's right, you guys. He did know. Then that means the secret helper's one of us. Well, then I know who it is. It's Moonsy. Look at him. Of course. It's Moonsy. Dottie, it's not me. Honest. Good for you. Hooray! Let's hear it for Moonsy. We should have known that it was him all along. Hooray! Hooray! Come on, guys. Stop. I'm not the helper. Yay! 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 Secret helper. Yeah, yeah, Moonzy! You're, You're the best! You're the awesome. Moonzy, we just heard. It was you. Thanks for your help. But there's been a mistake. There's a hero. Great work, my boy. I don't know how you collected all that honey by yourself. Heck, it would take me the entire day. You have the wrong person. He's always been this humble. Well done, Moonzy. It's okay. You don't have to keep it a secret. Hooray! Let's hear it for Moonzy. Huh? No, please, just listen. Moonzy! 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 He's telling the truth. It can't be Moonzy. It's someone else. The secret helper is still at large. He's right. The bridge is fixed. Over the creek. Moonzy's been with you the whole time, right? Well, uh, yes. Whoever it is, I'm sure he knows we're grateful. He loves to help. So let him. We all win. Well, I'll be. The boy's right. Uh-huh. We don't need to know who he is. I guess not. Let him be. Well, thanks for letting your help. Thank you. It's so hot out. I can't wait to swim. I am the world's greatest super caterpillar. No, clearly I'm the greatest super caterpillar. No way. Me. Don't you dare stick your tongue out at me. Come back here. Whoops, it looks like they forgot to take this. How would it be a secret helper? Ah, ah, Mr. Diggins can't find his new glasses. Well, off we go. I never would have guessed it was them. Not in a million years. Shouldn't we tell them that we know? But I think that's the whole point. The secret helper should remain a secret. All right? Moonsy and Skip decided not to tell the others what they had learned, and Whoopsie and Poopsie went on secretly helping the world, one good deed at a time. Hello, I'm Moonsy, and I'm your best friend. New neighbors. Knock it off! You woke me up! Huh? Whoopsie, what's that noise? How should I know that? Let's go find out. Yeah, let's go to the top of the flower. That way we won't be seen. Who are they? I've never seen them before. I guess they're strangers. There's like three million of them. Uh-huh. Look how much of our grass they've taken. Do you think they're planning to stay here and live in our clearing? 
In our forest? They're clearing out all of our food. At this rate, we'll have nothing left. Let's get rid of them. All right. We'll be heroes. You'll see. The forest will thank us. Good. Good. And what have we here? Oh. Well, I'll be. We seem to have some new guests in the forest. Let me see, let me see. Uh, I've never seen bugs like that. They look really different. Maybe they came from far away. Oh, how exciting. We should go and introduce ourselves. Come along, dear. Help me gather some treats for our guests. Let's go right now. Please, Granny. Can we? I suppose you can. We'll meet you down there in a little bit. And go away! Get out! <laughs> we live here! Get out! Get out of our forest! <laughs> You can't stay here. You don't belong here. Find your own flower. This one's ours. We've been chased all over the forest by these wild insects. It's your turn now. <laughs> Please stop that. What on earth is the problem? <laughs> your tent fell down? <laughs> And they're the ones who did it? Well, why did you come to our forest? Yeah, and take over the field and eat our grass. What do you mean? Those things aren't just yours. No one owns them. Well, I know that, but, you know, it's just... Well, you know. Uh -huh. The forest is everybody's. All right? We, as in the forest, welcome our guests. We're glad to have you with us. And one, and two, and three, and four! Hooray! After everyone pitched in to return the forest and meadow to normal, they all took part in a huge celebration. The new neighbors loved Granny Annie's delicious treats and were happy to share their own special recipes as well. Magic trick. You will be my first attendant. You're my lady in waiting. It's Dottie. What's she all dolled up for? Uh -huh. I'm feeling underdressed. I'm playing a princess game. <laughs> really? I thought princesses were glamorous. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I didn't know they had warts. <laughs> Come on. Those are her freckles. <laughs> Dottie's a magical princess. Dottie's a magical princess. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky that I don't know magic. Hey, wait. Never mind. I do have some tricks up my sleeve. I'm getting real tired of all this grass. I want some strawberries. Oh, it's her. It's the Magic Fairy Princess. <laughs> What's up, Princess? Where's your prince? <laughs> what? What's back there in the tall grass? Yeah. Huh? Clover? Where'd Daddy go? What are you talking about? 
here, silly. What happened? Is it me? Am I a toad? Ah, it's the magic! It's all your fault! You better turn me back to normal! <laughs> I don't buy it. No way. It's a trick. I bet if we go to the pond, Clava won't be there. Yeah. See ya, Clava. I mean, Daddy, you stay right here. Don't leave me. Come back. What about the spell? Clava, you have to get there first. Huh? Hi, guys. Clava? What? She's back there. Oh, man. And Daddy is really a toad? What do we do? We do nothing. Keep running. Please, break the spell. Ah! Hey. Oh. Hi, guys. What's going on? Daddy turned into a toad. And she wants us to change her back. Whoopsie and poopsie. Do you guys feel okay? Please help me. It wasn't our fault. We're innocent. We need to tell Granny Annie. She'll know how to fix this. She won't. I'm always going to be a toad. Oh, no. Poor me. I'm doomed. Dottie, don't say that. We'll be your friends no matter what. Aww. <sighs> cure a toad. Cure a toad. Got it. Problem solved. We just need a dragon. We'll never find one. I wouldn't even know where to look. There, there. We might not come up with a dragon, but we know a spell. <laughs> Hold on, we'll give it a shot. Oogly boogly. Warts go away. Wings, Wings reappear, reappear so, so Daddy, Daddy can, can play. play. It's, it's not, not working. working. Look at this. It's a book called The Princess and the Frog. So the prince kissed the frog, and she turned back into a beautiful princess. You mean... We have to kiss? Well, you should give it a try. You can kiss her then. Uh, wait! Uh, uh, Moonty shouldn't have to be the one to kiss me. It's your uh. fault. Uh. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Huh? Come on, what are you waiting for? Hooray! Hooray! Daddy! Hey, we did it! The spell is broken! <laughs> <laughs> Dottie explained to Moonzy why she and Clava had tricked the caterpillars. Moonzy agreed that they learned a good lesson. Think carefully before you speak, because your words can be very powerful. Why did you say she was a magical princess? Did you lose your head? Oh. You're the one who... Uh, oh. 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 It's still there. Yeah, we wouldn't get too far without our heads. <laughs> <laughs> to the cave up on the highest mountain. Huh? If you don't, I'll have to find something else to eat. Well, he's got some nerve. He should bring us some jam if he's staying in our forest. Hey there, Squirts, what's going on? Wow, that's a big footprint. It was made by a giant ape. He wants us to bring him eight jars of Granny's jam. Did you say a giant ape? Oh, not again. Why us? Oh. Why here? This can't be happening to us. You've heard of the giant ape? Oh, sure I've heard of him. He's the most terrifying creature in the whole world. Yeah, right. You're always making stuff up. Oh, yeah? Well, just wait till you hear its awful screams. Yeah, and it snores when it sleeps. It'll shake the whole forest. I heard it once, you know. A horrible tragedy befell a nearby forest. They wouldn't give up their jam. 
The giant ape was so hungry and upset that he ate them for dinner <laughs> instead! <laughs> and the same thing will happen to us! <laughs> no, it won't. Not if we bring him the jam. I don't mind. Let's go, Skip. <laughs> I don't see why we have to give him all eight jars of jam. Let's give him one and see what happens. This must be it. The cave up on the highest mountain. Do you think he's in there now? Uh, Moonzy? That's far enough. It's okay. I'll just take a look. Uh, I'll just stay here and guard the jam. any giant apes in there. Hooray! Then let's get out of here. We can keep all our jam for ourselves. <laughs> Dear children, I'm afraid there's a problem. I'm quite hungry. I need to eat. I see there's no jam in my cave. Let's try again. Bring back all the jam, or I'll have to eat you instead. Well, I guess we're going back. Let's leave the wagon at the top of the hill and then run back down. I don't want to hear that giant ape's horrible roar again. I don't want to hear it either, but I do want to see him. Let's hide in those bushes and wait. Huh? <laughs> it worked like a charm. Help me get this out of here. Hold on. Shouldn't we make sure they're gone first? I know what we need. A giant ape scream. So the caterpillars really were behind this all along. This means there's no giant ape. We should have known. Let's go get our jam back. There. Are you ready? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Come back here with our jam, you two. Down. We won't steal anymore. We just really like Jim. The next day, Granny Annie taught the caterpillars how to make their own jam. Now, Poopsie and Whoopsie won't have to trick anyone with giant apes ever again. <laughs> Unexpected guest. Oh, oh, oh. oh, but it's a lovely day in the pond. coming down with something? Maybe something's wrong with my eyes. No thermometer? Now I've started misplacing things. I better go see if Mr. Gudgeon is around. Help! Someone help me! Ah. Did you hear? A shark! Right in this very pond! What do you think of that? Well, thank goodness for that. I thought I was losing my mind. No, this is not good. A ferocious shark is loose in our pond. What do we do now? Giles Gudgeon better have a plan or everyone we know is about to become dinner. Did you hear? A shark, a shark. We're doomed, everybody. The end, I say. The end is near. Sharks are very common in the oceans and seas all over the world. Understand? That means they need salt water. They don't like ponds. <sighs> oh, hold on. It appears there's a shark that prefers fresh water. Huh? Huh? Oh. Mm. One of the places the bull shark lives is Nicaragua. 
And as we know, hmm, that's quite a long way from here. How can that be? I specifically saw a shark with razor sharp teeth lurking in the water right outside my window. I don't think so. Our pond is just not the place for a shark. Ah, it's here! The shark is back! Ah. Ah. All right, everyone, stay back. We must be careful not to startle it. When it comes back again, we'll hide under the bench. Jump out on my command, and we'll trap it in our net. I see it. It's coming. It's coming. Shark! Get down! Ah, huh. huh. oh, there it is! Get down here, you! Ah, it's here! Ah. Now! This behavior is completely unacceptable, wouldn't you say? Uh -huh. Children? It was just you all along? Well, I never! Do you have any idea what you've done? You frightened us. We're sorry. We didn't mean to scare you. We were playing. We didn't mean to do any harm. We'll never scare anyone again. We promise. promise. It certainly was a creative idea. You know, kids, there are several other creatures that live in the sea. Some of them you would never believe are real. I have a great book about them at home if you'd like to learn more. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! The children did read Giles Gudgeon's book and shared everything they learned about the sea creatures with all of their friends in the pond. Of course, everybody was already familiar with the shark. That was one fish they felt they knew a little too well. <laughs> <laughs>